Angie gets emotional. Angelina Jolie holds a white gloved hand over her heart at London Memorial for American World War II soldiers at Street Paul's Cathedral. Angelina Jolie appeared to be overcome by emotion on Thursday as she visited a war memorial in London. The 43 year old actress was at Street Paul's Cathedral to attend the service of commemoration and dedication to mark the 200th anniversary of the most distinguished order of Street Michael and Street George. After the ceremony, she was escorted by members of the clergy, as well as cameramen, around the American memorial inside the church, where she adopted a sober expression while viewing the names of the killed American soldiers stationed in the UK during World War II. A wild child in her youth and the early days of her career, Angelina has undergone a very public makeover since becoming a mother to her first child, Maddox. In addition to devoting herself to charitable causes, the star had made a habit of dressing much more conservatively. Her outfit on Thursday certainly fit the bill, as she turned up to the ceremony in a white, long sleeve Ralph and Russo number that fell below her knees. She paired the modest dress with a simple, elegant fascinator and a pair of pristine white gloves. She was still wearing those gloves after the event when she allowed the press to follow her into the cathedral as she took a tour of the Wall Memorial. In pictures later obtained by Harper's Bazaar, Com. Angelina looked particularly serious and affected as a display housing a 500-page leather-bound book was opened for her perusal. She placed a single gloved hand over her heart, as if to steady herself. She then leafed through the book, reading some of the names of the 28,000 American military members who contributed to the war effort in the UK during World War II. The seemingly candid but no doubt pre-approved photo session took place shortly after the Maleficent was pictured arriving at the event on Thursday. After the Queen was forced to bow out due to reportedly contracting a summer cold, the brunette beauty was the headliner at the ceremony, where she proudly sported the sash badge of the Order, a dazzling brooch coming in a silver gilt and enamel, awarded to her that day. The star joined the congregation for the service and quickly became the star of the show following Her Majesty's withdrawal, with guests flocking around Angelina. She was seen sharing a special moment with her young fans as well, when a group of children gathered round to shake her hand and chat with the actress. She was also pictured walking alongside Armin Kohelik, Baroness Helic, a British politician who served as special advisor to the former Foreign Secretary William Hague. Angelina and Arminka who is originally from Bosnia, have become quite close over the years. Previously, Angelina was on hand to watch as Lady Helic was admitted to the House of Lords in 2014, and they have travelled together in the past to the International Criminal Court in the Netherlands and also to Burma at election time in 2015. On Thursday, however, it was all about Angie as she was recognized by the order for her good deeds. The order recognizes service in a foreign country or in relation to foreign or commonwealth affairs, such as the work of foreign service officers and diplomats. It consists of the Sovereign, Grand Master, Duke of Kent, 125 Knights and Dames Grand Cross, 375 Knights and Dames Commander, and 1,750 Companions. Angelina was invited as a recipient of an honor from the Order. In 2014, she was also awarded an honorary dame for services to UK foreign policy and her extensive work on the campaign to end sexual violence in war zones that was granted by the Queen on the Prime Minister's advice. The cathedral where the ceremony took place is the home of the Chapel of the Order of Street, Michael and Street, George formally dedicated in 1906. Though Angelina was being honored for her contributions in the UK, the star has also spoken out about doing more back at home in the US, and has admitted that she has considered running for office. When you work as a humanitarian, you are conscious that politics have to be considered. Because if you really want to make an extreme change, then you have a responsibility. She told Vanity Fair in 2014 whether she would actually take up politics though, is still up for debate. I honestly don't know in what role I would be more useful, I am conscious of what I do for a living, and that, could, make it less possible, she added in the interview.